सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विद ए न्यू चैप्टर एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज एनिमेशन टूल सिंफिक ताओ सिंफिक इज एन एनिमेशन सॉफ्टवेयर एंड चैप्टर नंबर टू टू चैप्टर नंबर फाइव आर ऑल बेस्ड ऑन दिस थिंग एंड ऑल दिस चैप्टर्स आर प्रैक्टिकल चैप्टर्स एंड दिस चैप्टर that is chapter number 2 is divided into two parts at present we begin with the part 1 now in the previous chapter we had discussed about multimedia and the basic building blocks of multimedia yeah that's true multimedia but how to create a multimedia presentation we need a software or an application which is known as a multimedia authorizing tool am i right to create a presentation or to create a uh, this thing multimedia presentation now the simplest example i can give you is of ppt that is powerpoint presentation right with the help of that also you can create a beautiful presentation now next thing is uh, this authorizing tools provides the important framework now powerpoint is also we can consider it as an authorizing tool even though it is not included in the chapter but for better explanation of this authorizing tool i am comparing it with powerpoint presentation so this authorizing tools provides the important framework to organize and edit the multimedia elements like graphics sound video and animation now before we continue uh, further one thing i would like to say is here in this video i have not marked any of the mcq using any color that is bold color or underline or nothing why the reason behind that is in the previous chapter i had seen that most of them were fast forwarding the video or just taking the screenshots of the video and not understanding what i was trying to explain so now from this video i have changed the method fine now generally the authorizing tools are classified into three things the first one is time based tools here i have placed a picture of uh, the thing that is time based tool we can say that powerpoint is a time based tool each and every slide is given a timing and according to that the thing which is uh, placed in that slide will be displayed another thing is icon or event based tools now we can compare it with a website or uh, not a website uh, i will de- uh, teach you this thing in detail when we come to this point and the last thing is card or page based tool that also i will teach you in detail so let's begin the video so first we start with the card or page based tools okay now here the elements are organized as pages of a book or pile of cards now the authorized authorizing tool links this pages into an organized sequence we can compare it with a pdf for example the pdf of a textbook right then one after another we are able to see the content lying in different pages so that we can uh, say that it is a type of card based tool it's not exactly the same but to clear the concept i am giving you this example now when are this type of uh, tools useful now just now we were discussing about uh, powerpoint presentation thereafter i told you that uh, website is, website is an icon or event based now we are 
coming to this thing that is car or page base now where or in which situation can we use this thing or when is it useful then the answer to that is when the different elements can be viewed individually like the pages of a book that time we can use this method some of the examples of uh, this thing that is card based tools are hypercard that is the name of a software and uh, multimedia tool book we'll just have a look at this thing that is hypercard this is uh, not there in your practicals but you should know the you have to remember this name okay and like this way it uh, looks and when you start the thing this is the first screen which is displayed hypercard then this is the thing called tool book flash screen of the tool book and this is the actual tool book so with the help of this you can prepare a card or page base this thing presentation fine now the next uh, thing is icon or event based authorizing tool now as i told you just now we can compare it with a, a website or web page now for example if i want to develop a website of a school then how will i start the thing and now first of all i will have to create a flow chart okay or uh, before that i will have to decide that what information of the school i have to display on the website then i have to organize uh, it uh, in different uh, web pages and name it for example contact us gallery about us our mission like that way okay rules and regulations like that we have to categorize it fine and uh, thereafter i have to prepare the home page in the home page which which elements should be placed that i have to decide okay and then the whole things i have to place different buttons or hyperlinks and give the connection to all these things now how the process begins so elements are organized as objects in a structural framework or process how are they organized that this is the home page then these are the subordinate pages like that way here you need to build the flow chart or of the events or the task and then add the elements as per the structure if you remember in the previous video of chapter number 1 i had explained you this uh, topic of flow chart in detail if you have forgotten then please go and uh, watch that video i will not explain this topic again the examples of event or icon based authorizing tools are authorware and icon author we will just have a look at this thing this is authorware 7 and it is developed by macromedia this is also the image of the same thing fine now we come to the time based tools just now as i told you i can compare it with the uh, powerpoint presentation here elements are organized along a timeline and when is it useful it's useful uh, when you want to give a message that is a beginning and an end for example in the website you don't have any beginning or any end people needs different uh, information from the website so they will visit different pages of your website well in the powerpoint presentation you know that this should be the first slide then second slide third slide right so like that way then elements are displayed as per the time or location of the events the time based authorizing tools are the most popular among all that is according to the textbook examples are synfig pencil macromedia flash and director first we will have it have a look at uh, synfig studio which is there in your course and all the practical chap practical chapters are based on uh, this thing 
now today you have to download this thing i have put the link in the description from there you can download this software or you can search in google and if it's available you can download it from there from this infig official website if it allows you to download so anyway you have to download the thing and from the next chapter we are going to start with the practicals so whatever i am ask teaching you that you have to practice in your computer so this is the thing how it looks okay synfig studio and in this you can prepare 2d animation now oh, this is the look of the another uh, 2d animation uh, this thing that is uh, this is a uh, pencil okay then this is the most uh, popular and the best 2d animation software and that is flash professional 8 or commonly known as flash 8 now uh, the topic uh, which comes in the textbook is just a mild introduction to the software named pencil pencil is a 2d animation software that lets you create a traditional hand drawn animation using both bitmap and vector graphics the meaning of bitmap and vector graphics i had explained you in the first chapter it can be freely downloaded from the website address which is given here it's available on various operating systems like windows linux and uh, max os x and uh, this is the screenshot which i have taken from your textbook now to create uh, a animation or a presentation using this software you should be good at uh, free hand drawing means you should be able to use the create the shapes you should be able to draw the shapes then only you will be able to use this software and uh, this is the synfig studio which is there in our chapter number 2 to 5 a time based uh, multimedia authorizing tool that falls in the category of open source synfig is a time based multimedia authorizing tool and it is an open source software and besides it is a free software it's available from of uh, cost uh, it is available here i have made a spelling mistake it's available free of cost according to the textbook when i personally tried to download the thing it was asking me to pay some uh, Uh, dollars or i don't remember so according to me i don't know whether it is free or not you try so for you people i have kept the link in the description you can download it from there and uh, the link which is given in the textbook that also i have given here another thing that uh, synfig studio or simply synfig is 2d vector animation Now see here it's not bitmap or raster it falls in the category of vector so it's a 2d vector animation software released in 2005 under the GNU GPL not IPL but GPL the full form of GPL is general public license now it is designed to produce film quality animation with uh, fewer people and uh, fewer resources now i'm not able to create a, a film quality animation using this software but it's given in the textbook so i'm telling this thing then another thing is that it's available on various operating systems like linux windows and mac os x the first version of synfig was 0.61.05 now everywhere i am not even telling in this video that uh, software could be uh, sorry uh, mcq could be asked from here or that now you have to judge that thing okay 
fine another thing that uh, after this uh, version so many versions are getting released frequently now according to the textbook the latest version is 0.63.05 now this textbook was written in year 2013 so that time this may be the latest version now since uh, another thing that synfig stores animation in xml that is extendable markup language file format often compressed using the compression software gzip which uh, stands for gnu zip now the file extension we talk about the file extensions then this files use the file extension .sif that is an uncompressed form or it uses .sifz that is a compressed form now this is the screenshot which i am showing you from the textbook okay when you start this or open this software okay first you will have to install this software and when, when you open this software the looks will be like this way now whatever thing you want to draw or you want to arrange the shapes that all things you have to do on the canvas this thing okay this thing is known as canvas now to uh, create different shapes you will have to use the toolbox so the toolbox is given here just now if, even if you download the software today don't start doing the practicals in the next lecture i will teach you or i will explain you the meaning or in the things how this thing works now this is known as uh, panels while this is also known as panel this is a uh, forearms panel then uh, this thing is keyframe uh, panel and uh, it also gives the time track and those all things all this is a navigation panel so there are different panels but at present i don't want to confuse you by just teaching anything without uh, you having the software in your computer so i will wait for you people to install this software so i complete this video over here we meet in the next video which would be the last video of this chapter thank you